training will also be airing on my YouTube page, uh, which is the uh, Elias Pose MLM Tips for your international people. So you can always ask them uh, to log in, and I think it remains on Facebook, right? Yeah. Yes. So they can always uh, be able to get it, so that you can be able to reach a bigger international audience. But also most importantly, so that they can feel the touch of what we are doing here in, uh, in Uganda, isn't it? Now, uh, someone is going to be my secretary. I, I'm going to ask you in five minutes, what are some of the topics, what are some of the things you'd want to learn or for me to teach you during uh, this time, by show of hands. Rina, are you going to write for me? Okay, what would you want to learn? What would you, what skills, what are some of the areas uh, that you would want to learn from me? Anyone? Yes. How they close the deal. How to close the deal. A very interesting topic, and I'll give you a series of training on that. What about you? How? How to follow up. Follow up is what you said, right? How to do follow up. That's a very interesting uh, topic we are going to discuss. Justin. Yes, leadership skills. Leadership skills. Leadership skills is another one. Yes. How to uh, be a good conversationalist. More like uh, how to keep rapport with someone, right? That's a very interesting one. Yes. How to handle rejections. How to handle rejection. That's another very beautiful one. Yes. How do you deal with uh, the corporate class of the people you sign up for the business? How to deal with the corporate class of people in the business. Yes. Retaining people. Eh? Retaining. Retaining people so that they don't quit, right? That's interesting. What else? Starting someone right. Okay. Starting someone right. That's a very interesting topic. Okay, what else? The last two? Yes, uh, my friend there. Yes, how to turn part timers into full timers. How to turn part timers into what? Full timers. That's a very interesting one. The last two? Yes, my friend. How to use third party tools. How to use third party tools. Very interesting. How to start party tools, yes? How to do it online. How to build business online. Then the other, the last one. How to make someone like your page every time. How to? <laughs> How to make someone like your page. Is that more like rebranding your branding yourself? That, that's a very interesting one. Then lastly. How to get your team to work. How to get your team to work. That's very interesting. Okay, so we are going to be doing that. Uh, this patria training I'm going to do for you. It's just the introduction, and uh, it's not going to be a series. Most of the trainings I'll give you will be uh, skill-based, so you'll be learning uh, some skills. Is that okay? And um, we shall get started. So today I'm going to uh, share with you how to set yourself to become successful. Now, this particular topic that I chose today, it's, it's not one random topic I chose. But uh, it's really what worked for me. I would get that. And I want you to know that the principles of success that have made someone in another industry successful are the same principles of success that also make you successful. What worked six years ago when I joined is also what is still doing what? Working as a principle. I would get that. So what I'm going to share with you are actual things that I've probably done heart to heart. These are simple things you have kept on hearing, but I wish maybe you can be able to create a renewed commitment towards them all together. And uh, also, of course, on Mondays, we shall try to make sure that Monday 
is uh, very, very big. We shall be doing uh, very good presentations. Sometimes I'll be when the world present. We shall be inviting guest speakers, especially in the presentation. Uh, it's really going to be one of those very what? Good days. Now, set yourself for success. Um, this is me right now, right? But as you know, this is how it began six years ago. All together. Now, when you look at this, this is a picture of Cape Town seeing over and over and over again. But when you look at this, it really shows you that there's nothing special that I had all together. I was also invited by anyone. I didn't even choose Alliance. I'm imagining if someone had invited me to another company, maybe I would have joined that one all together. Someone just called me for an opportunity, I thought it was nice. So I, I didn't like do some kind of research, I didn't have some kind of rare vision, I didn't have some kind of special skills, nothing. I was just invited normally. But when I was invited to announce Social Global, for me, I saw an opportunity, this one here. I wanted to become a very big businessman. How many of us really want to become very big business people? Very big. Just your hands up again. How many of us want to become very big? So many times, in fact, to answer the rejection question is that many times uh, someone who is ready, a ready buyer, someone who has been looking, you don't have to motivate them to be part of this opportunity. All together, they, they will quickly see it. And uh, that's why sometimes if you feel that as an applicant, you have done everything you, you have done to make sure someone joins, they run the business, they are set for success, it doesn't have to stress you that this person quits or is not serious altogether. Because maybe they are not just ready. So for me, when I saw this opportunity, I saw something big. I was looking for one day to get into maybe real estate. I was looking at maybe probably one day to become, have all the big, you know, malls, big supermarkets, big whatever. That's what I was looking for. But I knew that the biggest barrier that I had was capital. Where do I begin from? Altogether. I was just looking for a way to penetrate this class of the rich. Now, when M Global comes in, it represents a, a business that I can begin with almost nothing altogether. 900,000 or anything less than 1 million Ugandan shillings. Surely is money I could get. And just with those little peanuts, I, what it just required was me to work like crazy altogether. To work as hard as I can. To to pass any rejection to whatever, but to really work hard. That is what you need in network marketing. You begin with almost nothing, but you must put in effort that is above average. Altogether. My dear friends, the moment you want to do the minimum, then you cannot become successful. You cannot do minimum if you invest big. Altogether. So you cannot be the one who has invested small, 900,000, 2.7, 6.3, and again you want to be the one who is lazy. Altogether. I want to imagine that if maybe you start a business of 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, there you can afford to be lazy because you can employ people. Out together. But you cannot be the one who has begun with little money and again you put in minimal effort. It doesn't work like that. Now I want you to also know that many times uh, for us we don't have employees and things of the sort. Out together. Then you are the one who in the beginning builds your business. In fact, you begin without downlines. So you are the one who recruits them, you are the one who follows them up, you are the one who does everything. That's one fact you must be able to believe in the very beginning. So the moment I saw AIM Global, I would work like crazy. There was a time I used to sleep for only three hours, and it's a fact. Because I would wake up so early in the morning, maybe by five, I put on audios to listen to them. I just wanted my mind to change altogether. And learn skills, and because I told you the other day, or I was telling the victorious that um, how good your team becomes depends on you. Because in the beginning, everything your team knows, you are the one who has taught them. Am I right? I'm right. Like, uh, your downline, your people who join your business, most of the times, the things they know, how to follow up, how to prospect, how to invite, how to handle rejection, how to do what, like most of the times, you are the one who has taught them. So you, you really must be very good. So I was improving my skills every morning. So then I would come early to town to save on transport, but also to really come early. Then I would sit somewhere and I would make phone calls. So many of them, so many of them, it was crazy. I didn't have a limit. I just called so many people. And maybe by the time, maybe it is 10, I'm now beginning to have appointments. And I talk and I talk and I talk and I talk and I talk. Up to evening, I'm presenting to people, presenting to people, because I 
had already called them. In fact, many times I had more people to talk to than, uh, because there were many appointments could like kind of collide out together. Then in the evening, I would go back home and I would get data. I would, uh, I would go to Facebook and I switch off data. Then I would get a message uh, that is general, but I edit it towards, uh, I edit it for each individual altogether. For example, if I'm talking to Robert, I say, hello Robert, Elias, because he had fantastic opportunity to sit. I can change it altogether. But I would send it to so many people. I would have this attitude of Muhammad Ali, of saying that I will, uh, they asked him that, how many push-ups do you do? He said that he only starts counting when he starts what? Hunting out together. So I would always want to do like really above average out together. Really, really above average. So I would send those messages and of course the data would be also and don't maybe obstruct me. Then afterwards I switch on data, put my phone in silent mode, but put the alarm and then I sleep out together. So in the morning, while I'm calling, I'm also replying to all these people, all these people, all these people. I did it for three months. And that's how I moved from, uh, in May 2015, I, 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 I made 4.1 million. In June 2016, I made 100 million. All together. That is one, one year from 4 million to 100 million. That's how you become successful in the market marketing. So th this thing here is not rocket science. Like anyone can just wake up one day and you pluck out the wire and become successful. Nicholas was like that. He was also a grass, he was grassy in the beginning. He's there being average, being a mediocre, being whatever. Then just one day blacked out a wire. And he started working like crazy. Doing the maximum he could do. Because you've invested small, so you better work hard. You get what's up? If one day you invest big, maybe... I'm imagining the owner of this building doesn't have to be very hard working. Money is working out for him, invested big. Now you're invested small, but you want to... <laughs> okay, so this is how I began by talking to friends. And you can imagine, this, some people who are in your team right now, you, they will be the big stars. Imagine here, I'm presenting to these guys, I don't know who will join, who will not join. I don't know who will be serious, not be serious. And look at how Nicholas comes up. Out together. People ask me, how do you get leaders? How do you get serious people to join you? Let me tell you, serious people, I cannot determine who is a serious person. It's always a ready buyer meets ready what? Sailor. Someone who wants the vision, who wants it, who is looking, who is searching. For me, I was at that point when I was where I was searching. No one needed to motivate me. No one needed to push me. No one needed to wake me up for sale. No one. Need, I didn't need to please anyone. Out together. And imagine, just like you, many of us. Like uh, I told you a story of a guy in Tanzania. His name is Adrian Karia. He's a teacher. He saw a post on Facebook, and he lives in a, a place called um, Kahama, and in Shinyanga. Then he, that post, that presentation was in Mwanza. More like the way you see a Facebook post on Facebook advertising a business opportunity in Barada. So you get a bus to go to where? To Barada. So the guy got to go to the bus, went to Barada, he sent to a presentation, he liked it, and then he looked around for anyone. He said, excuse me, can you sign me up? Is it okay for me to be in your team? And then, and then he, he, he did what he, 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 he paid this man in cash, they filled the form and Someone signed him like that. Today he's a millionaire circle. He has a very big team in Tanzania. Out together. So it's always ready by a ready what? Say that. Out together. So the moment you need that extra push, I'm imagining, man, then you're not a business person. Or maybe it's not your cup of what? Coffee. Out together. So um, then this, this was still the beginning days. This is and this Hajara, this is myself. I really didn't know who was going to become successful. Me, I was aggressively talking. And by the way, you can imagine how much I have been rejected because uh, 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 it's crazy. Uh, um, the moment you talk to so many people, then need, you also get rejected a lot. But you don't feel it because you already have people in the pipeline. When this one refuses, ah, then you are on what? On another one. So it's, it's just through you running through the what? Through the numbers. And then, uh, of course, um, initially I was slow. I was honestly slow. Uh, everyone has that point when they are second guessing. Yes, when I saw this, I saw a very big opportunity. But it took me one month and I have to get my first person. For the first four months or so, I made only less than a hundred dollars. Maybe less than three hundred thousand. Two direct referral bonus and two matches. That is all I made. But I was really, really very slow. But for sure, every time, even if you are you are feeling very slow, as long as you are playing your part, as long as you are doing your part, you are really doing what? Progressing. I would get that. Every time you present to someone, you try something, you do
do a one-on-one, you make phone calls, like somehow you are naturally getting better, but you just can't know. It's just like growth. You can't suddenly realize you have become an inch taller for those of us who have children out together. Or you can't see a plant and suddenly it has become bigger. It's always a what? A progress out together. So every little thing that happens is really part of your growth. In fact, um, all these stories I'm sharing with them, with you, some of them of my adversity because they were just part of my what? My journey out together. So I want you to be in and be in. Then, uh, of course, uh, so I now have become very successful. When you see me driving my land cruiser, you, you may think that our, I began like up there, nothing, out together. It all just came. When I meet very many people, friends of mine, they are, they are really imagining, how has this guy become so big in a very short time? No, I work like crazy, out together. Then, uh, of course, uh, right now we are finishing our apartments wow. up there. We are there uh, already, all of them are taken. I only have three of them out together that are remaining. Yesterday, people were literally fighting for them when I said, now you can start making deposits, out together. So, uh, all this what happens, in just a period of six years, out together. And this is just one of the many investments that I have. So let me ask you something. You've started with peanuts, why don't you work hard? Out together. Now I can afford to be lazy. Network marketing represents that opportunity for the ordinary person without capital to become very rich. But you work like crazy. The, the, the money gap, you must fill it with hard work. And the moment you work hard in network marketing, it doesn't lie. It grows exponentially. Are we together? Now, I'm planning a training, um, uh, of course, for the leaders, for the MCs. And I'm going to call it um, escape the middle class. Can you say escape the middle class? Escape the middle class. Because the middle class exists. You see, many times we are motivated by, by discomfort. Out together. Like, for example, when you are broke, you are a bit discomfort. Maybe you want it. Maybe, you, maybe family is asking for money and you don't have it. And maybe contributions, maybe support. That is all discomfort. We are motivated by discomfort. So then we reach a point whereby we are now above the discomfort. You are no longer, you can afford fuel, you can afford to school fees for your children, you can afford whatever. Basically, you can afford the basics of life. That's the middle class. Out together. Now, even business people really remain at the middle class. Even them. Even corporate, now many corporates, of course, they be at the middle class. But if, again, many business people, they, they also be what? Middle class. Whereby they don't have problems, so nothing is pushing them. So for you to raise above the middle class, then you must be motivated by the why, not the problems. Out together. And many, it's very easy to be motivated by challenges. Out together. Now, after you solve the challenges, now you need to move further to be now be motivated by a strong what? Why? Out together. Can you afford to keep on working very hard even when you're making money? And that's the question many people ask me. How are you still working? What, why, why are you still looking for? It's not because I'm being motivated by difficulties. I'm being motivated by a strong what? Why? By my dreams. Then, um, so you can see. And um, I normally like saying that adversity causes some men to break. During that time, I really had a lot of issues. I can tell you I really had a lot of crazy issues. And um, I could have settled for this, I could have, I don't know, many things I could not have worked hard. Uh, I want to imagine, because I began with borrowed money, I was able to start to have challenges that you probably, all of us had, all, uh, uh, I was even worse, because you don't even have to ask me where I was getting money for lunch, because I was full time. You can't ask me where I was getting airtime. It was really not a very easy time for me. But I said I will not break. I said I will not I'll be consistent. And let me tell you, my friends, we must be consistent. You must be able to understand that even amidst the challenges, you must work like crazy. And let me tell you about network marketing, uh, is that, uh, particularly with the last motion global, the moment you work very hard, then what happens is, uh, within a very short time, you kiss bye-bye to your problems. Out together. In fact, we say it's not a get rich quick scheme, but I'll say it is. Do you know why? I remember January when I drink, I had rent issues. So January, February, March, April, May. Now that's a very long time, especially if you are uncomfortable, out there. It's a very, very long time, four months. But in May, which was my fifth month, I made 4.1. And ever since then, 
I've never really failed a pinch of money again altogether. Because May 2015, I made 4.1. I think the following month, I made 6.9. Kept on growing, growing, growing. I've never looked back altogether. But when you've decided to put in what? Put in a lot of concentrated work. Can you say concentrated work? Concentrated it must come within a very short period of time. That's why I'm a believer in a 90 day game plan, just that there are very few people who ever finish the 90 days. Out together, with the same momentum, with the same. Uh, 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 someone from Kamocha can call it BD, right? With the same BD, with the same everything. Like very, very few people are able to finish the 90 day game plan. Then some people get frustrated along the way that I'm pushing the 90 day game plan, but I'm not getting results. And then they stop somewhere. Out together. So if you're going to the 90 day game plan, I want you to understand that results will not come within the 90 days. In fact, results will come in much later. Out together. The, the hard work I was putting in from the time I began, it only came five months later. That's when I started feeling it. So, can you be able to be motivated at a point whereby it is hard for you to be motivated? At a point whereby, man, you are literally struggling. At a point whereby you are, things are really not easy for you. At a point whereby, you know, rejections and you really feel like every day you wake up to beat the business. Now, the moment you can go through that, <coughs> then you can be able to achieve success. All together. Now, uh, of course, uh, today because of that, I persisted. I'm top one, uh, Uganda, Africa, and East Africa. I'm also number five in the world, and I'm also the very first Ruby Global Ambassador. When I mentioned all these things, just know it was uh, uh, there was nothing special about me. All together. So today I'm going to share with you all the three tips. Number one, what are some of the things that really helped me? The biggest thing I've ever done to myself. Out together. The, 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 the best I've ever done for myself is uh, personal growth and personal development. Convincing yourself that you can make it. Convincing yourself that there is light at the end of the tunnel is always the hardest thing. For that vision to enter you. So for me, Personal growth and development did for me several things. Number one, there's personal growth that makes you believe in yourself. All together, there's that personal growth that makes you believe in yourself. Number two, there's that also that personal growth that makes you gives you skills. So for me, um, 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 many times you know uh, people really think I'm very good. I have a lot of skills. I can train anything. I can make phone calls. I can close, and I'm really good by the way. Very very good. Out together. But you know why? I've taught myself all those things. I've read them. Out together. I've read how to invite, I've read how to prospect, I've read how to close, I've read all these things. When you ask me, please train us these areas, I, I, I've read them. I've really read them out together. So I want you to know that you can become so good, so, so, so good by reading those things. So I read the drink them. I've become so good because I've listened to these audios over and over again. Even right now in my car, there's an audio that's playing. Okay, it's now packed. <laughs> All together. I do everything I can, so that the first thing I do when I reach office, especially if I've come very early street, and the last thing I do everything I can, that the last thing before I sleep is also to do what? To read something. Because I know that you can only become very good by learning those things. So are you making a conscious effort to become good? If the only training that you are getting is the training here in the classroom, then there's a problem. And one of the areas you can learn a lot is through our scripts. The moment you can finish all the scripts, the 240 that we have, you, you have maybe read, maybe I would say, uh, 10 or 20 books on network marketing. All together. So that morning sale, for those of us who normally come early, it's the, one of the, also the best things you can do to yourself. I prepare them, but even when I sit down with the, with the Victorians in the corner there, and the, I'm, we are going through them, oh my goodness, I'm learning a lot. All together. So make a conscious effort to become good. One of the best things you can do to yourself as a networker, if you are, uh, um, um, if you're not making an uncomfortable at home, especially if you are single, then you get a, a subwoofer. So that you be listening to those things. Then you can also one other investment you must be able to do is to get earphones. 
out there and you listen to as much as you can. And you're going to become so good. And I want to say that maybe I am top one because I've learned so much more than many people. Out there. Because like I told you, many times your team, the things they know, you are the one who has taught them. Out together. So the moment you can teach them those things, then your team will become good. That's how the visionaries became so good. Because we are learning skills, we are doing whatever you can. Most people I signed up quickly became very successful because that's very good. Out together. So you can also become very good. Personal growth. Now, um, books like these ones, Austin. One of my best authors at that time was Austin. Austin made me believe in my soul. There are many of these audios that I can actually recite. Out together. Like when he's talking, I know what he's going to say next. He really did a lot to make me believe in myself. You know what it means every day to be rejected every day, to register is pushing you to be every day, things are not happening. Man, you need something to inspire, you need something to keep you going. You are not a stone. We are human beings out together. We have feelings out together. When you get rejected, you doubt yourself. When people don't come, you things happen, you're a human being. You are you need something, you need an external force. You need motivation, you need something to keep you. Les Brown was also very, very important for me, and I also read some books. Altogether. But many of these authors were really, really very important for me uh, because it kept me going and also gave me skills. And many times, by the way, when you listen to these audios, then you also learn where you make mistakes. Then you're like, hey, I think the reason why so and so rejected me was because I approached them badly. Altogether. So you, you don't. Blame the business, but you blame your lack of skills. Am I talking to someone? Do you want to be, I want to ask you something. What if you are so good at presenting, so good at talking, so good at inviting, why would someone reject you out there? The reason why people don't come, the reason why you present people they don't join, it's because you are not yet good enough. Many times. Out together. Then when you become very good, because the reason why this person has refused to join, you have failed to convince them. Otherwise, an ants motion group is a good business. So it just simply means that there is some skill that you learn. And we are all improving every day. So um, in your first years, learn everything you can, number two. Uh, teach your team, of course. Expose yourself and your team to the bigger picture. Every time there are these guest speakers, there are, there are these trainers, always uh, listen to them. Uh, respect and learn from the current top earners. Can you say current top earners? Top because you are the next top earner. By the way, don't all these guys who are like the up, up big there, the global ambassadors and what of you, the top 20, they're the current top 20 altogether. Otherwise, you're going to surpass them. I've told you that one of the things that you can ever do uh, is to escape the middle class altogether. Now, of course, the top earners are very good, they're making a lot of money, but the moment they cannot also escape the middle class, then those ones who work up beyond the middle class, we shall be able to meet them. Many of us are ready to work about beyond the middle class. Out together. You, the moment you can push yourself, so they are the current top others, but always respect them. Out together. Because there's something which they know that you don't know. So listen to them as much as you can. And then be steady, be in your heart, be saying, you are warming my chair. Oh my goodness, the stage you are sweeping it for me. I'm coming to bless you. Out together. Even me. I'm not sure there's someone who's going to come and become the top earner. Of a last motion problem. Are we together? Then, the perfect mindset of a networker, number one, you must believe that success is a skill that you can learn. Are we together? Now, I want you to always respect people who are very successful. But also, one of the ways in which uh, uh, another mindset I want you to have is to know that there's nothing special about them that you cannot achieve. Are we together? For me, I've come to believe that success is a, is, is a skill you can learn. I have to imagine that if I was a singer and I kept on singing and singing and singing, I can't become as good as, the, as, as Chameleon or some of these musicians out together. It's a skill that you can learn. So I want you to know that all these things Sunil has done, the Hams have done, the, 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 the tattoos have done, all those are things that they learn. It's something that you can learn out together. It's something they can learn. For example, one of the people that are uh, uh, really, one of the things I've seen about, especially these very successful business people, they're very good at reading trends. The guy is going to buy a piece of land somewhere, and before you know it, that place becomes so classic. 
One of the people that, um, is, that surprises me is this guy called Mutasa Kafemo. So, many of us have been going to Barana. Are we together? And I've been seeing that piece of land above Coca Cola. It was nothing. Like, you not even imagine. I'm imagining if someone told me, excuse me, a prime piece of land where I can put a hotel. I'll maybe take them in CDB or somewhere else. But I just don't know how he spotted that place and he put up a hotel there that everyone who will go to Barada will pass through Barada, the guy knew where they bypass is going to pass, the guy knew that and until you can view everything and he put it in the perfect spot. Just identify that place. Another guy who is very good is Simpson Mirodi. There's that place at him at he, at he, <coughs> Nakula. He has that building that has equity bank, right? Now it had some funny, funny shops at one of you, but the guy knew somehow the traffic lights would pass there and everything would be there. He just put it in the right place. Out together. But this case, it's something which they have learned over and over and over and over what? Again. Out together. One of the buildings that really made Ham very successful is Ham Towers. Of course, now um, I think the traffic and the quality of the building is questionable. But honestly, it's a piece of land he bought very cheaply. And he situated right, and it became a very, very prime building, especially during that time. Out together. So these are all skills that you can learn either through practice, but you can also read them. Out together. You can read them. Now, uh, the other one is that belief in the products. You must also believe in our products. I don't understand anyone who is not using these products. I swallow these supplements more like my life depends on them because it does. How many of us have had about diseases for the rich? <laughs> Watch me. How many of us have had diseases for the rich? Which ones are they? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Eh? High blood pressure. Another one, no bonus answers. Which one? Yeah, yeah. Diabetes. Uh huh. They have mentioned that could be true. Yes. Ulcers. Uh -huh. What was? Stroke. Uh -huh. Another one. Obesity. Another one. <laughs> now, how many of us want to become rich? You can only dodge that bullet. What's use what? Supplements. Please don't remember to use the supplements when the stomach has become rich. How you to give up? Don't remember to use bad sleep when you cannot help yourself. It's one of the products that I use a lot because my wife is always fighting with me. She says everything you okay, but the stomach sometimes they are okay. So then I, then I cut it out together. So I want you to know that those diseases for the rich, you cannot dodge them. And here in Africa, it's becoming worse because the cancers are becoming very, very serious. They, 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 our Bureau of Standards, uh, those regulatory bodies, they, 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 they are easy to compromise. The other day there was a time when I think uh, uh, Chapa Deshi, I don't know, no, some people in um, um, the Ministry of Trade or UNDS went to Chukomo and they got all the sugar they were iron findings in their sugar all together, which we take every day. These preservatives and what of you saw, and you can't dodge it. You can't, uh, you, you can't say about it very healthy throughout all together because if you, your exhaustions and what of you saw. For me, I've come to love these supplements, not just because I'm in alliance, but because I know that they are the anti-cancers, they are the anti-pressure, they are the anti-diabetes, they are the anti-obesity, they are the anti-something. So you must be able to use them so that you don't get those diseases. How many of us have relatives with pressure, diabetes, cancers, a lot of you? So are you, are you made of stone or metal? No. Are we together? You can also get them. So you have these products. They are there. They are available. C24-7 flashes out every single uh, cancerous cells and carcinogens in your body. So why don't you use that properly? Out together. You're being like those people who sell me fast become successful and fast rich there, then I start doing this. Out together. So you must live in the products. The other one, you must live in the company. <coughs> one thing for sure I told you the other day is that Alliance Motion Group will never, ever, ever, ever close. But this bit of sweet. Out together. You know, companies like Dynafarm, companies like Tianchi, companies like Forever Living, companies like JLD, these are companies that have been there for years. So I've not had any network marketing company coming to Uganda and closes. They're legitimate companies, never. 
Church is there. House of Health is there. All together. Channel is there. For everybody is there. It's just us distributors who quit. All together. You find people who have quit, who have left the business. I'm, and I'm sorry for them. But in global race, they are so believe in the company. Believe in building a long-term relationship with the company. For me, when I began this business six years ago, I was doing it as if I'm going to do it for the next 20, 30 years. I was doing it like my retirement plan. And more, no wonder, I invested big out together. I, I was not trying to grab money out of alliance, not at all. I remember when we were starting uh, uh, Haruna Towers, I, I invested about, I got all my, my, I made 69 million in my first year, right? And um, we shifted it to that, piece, to that place in, uh, in about March of 2016, out together. So, and I remember I invested in about 54 to 54 million, 60 million. I literally bought all my money on my account that I made in my first year. Of course, I spent some of it, all my savings. I bought them and I invested in that place. All together. And then just about a few months later, I was earning 100 million. And I remember one person who really told me was, hey, how come you're putting so much money? And I remember at that time, I. I went to Mabirizi complex where the company had offices and I measured the, 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 with my eyes, of course, the hole and I said, let me have a hole that is four times bigger than this one. All together. They had a very small hole because I wanted to be bigger than the company. I'm not supposed to want to become bigger than the company. I wanted <laughs> All together. I, 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 and I did all these things consciously. I wanted to be bigger than the company. So I made sure I had a, a big trade board. And the challenge was to fill it. And my downlines did make good thing, which was Nicholas and the Dan and they also got their own training centers. I'm like, now let us push me. How together? Many people doubt they were like, but why are you putting all this money? How together? Now during COVID, I invested them for hundred million, more than hundred million, really I can tell you, to just get this place here. Now I'm I'm not doing it because I'm doing it just for just. Because the company is, I'm planning to exit the other day. No, 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 no. I get what I'm telling you. So it's very important that you build that long-term relationship with the company. Treat it like your, your long-term plan. And let me tell you something, it will always be there. It will always be paying those who work hard to be paying those who invest big. Are we together? Now, the other one, of course, believe in yourself as a person. Number five, understand that success takes what? Time. And, um, one of the areas in terms of thinking big, I've also read so much of these books and learned all these skills because I know that the company is not going away tomorrow. So I will, I will align myself and I say I'm only going to read on inviting for the whole year or for the, all this time. I'm only going to read on leadership because I know that I need those skills now, uh, next year, the other year, and 10 years from now. So you must have the long term view. The moment you are short-term minded, then I'm sorry for you. You cannot invest big in a business, traditional business or network marketing, if you are thinking small. Look at what Ham is doing. He's a, a, a look at some of the project this guy is doing. The other day he was doing a research and I think he wants to get into good processing and what to do. And it was a 40 year plan. Can you say 40 year plan? Four years. Imagine 40 years. No wonder this guy has become super successful. All together. He, he builds, like, uh, if you have to look at those houses that he's building somewhere in, uh, in the on, on Express, all together. Over 100 houses, it's crazy, it's very big. If you have to look at some of the loans this guy is taking, someone has billions and billions of loans, all together. Uh, I've owned in fact in dollars, all together. It's because he's not even small. He gets a loan that's going to pay for 20 years. Can you wonder? All together. It is because the, the visionaries think very long term. All together. Otherwise, they will not do such big projects. They will only be borrowing money they can pay in a month, in a, in a year, in two years, all together. But they have a very big vision. All together. So you must think long term. Number two, make adjustments to fit your business. I want you to understand and pick it. Um, we are all where we are currently because of what we do every day. I'm sure you've heard that uh, uh, um, um, uh, success depends on your daily habits. Have you? Yes. Um, uh, I want to say it again. Success depends on your daily habits. 
Success depends on my daily habits. Again, success depends on the daily habits. Success depends on my daily habits. Let us for three seconds pause writing. Everyone pause writing. Your neighbor is writing. Just uh, teach them. Oscar, I didn't mean it to pitch the next serious. <laughs> Think about it. Success depends on your daily habits. All the things that you do every day. Is it real? Yes. Is it real? Yes. How are you spending your day? Are you working hard to deserve the success? Out together. So you must adjust yourself to fit the business. If you are part time, if you are full time, whatever it is, you must be able to make adjustments. You cannot maintain status quo. You cannot remain the same person. And just because you join Alliance, somehow God is going to realize, oh, my shepherd, my, is it called shepherd? Oh, 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 my sheep. Oh, oh, we have to sheep. <laughs> oh, God is not going to remember, oh, my sheep, Arnold. He, let me remember him, he joined Alliance. No. You must make changes to fit into the demands of the business. So the moment you remain the same person, it's just like a, 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 I mean, many people start companies, and I love this. They start companies, they get fancy names, maybe they, they, they get seven years consults and what of you, they may make business cards and what of you, the fancy ones, and they give them out everywhere, but it's, that's not what makes the company. What makes the company is you working and you cannot only work when you adjust yourself to the demands of the business. Question. Mm. So, are you, have you adjusted so well to fit into the demands of the business? Are you still the same person? So there are things which must change. And I remember, honestly, and I'm, I want to be very honest with you, I chucked almost everything in my life just to fit into a business. There are things which I could no longer do. The things that were taking my eye, oh God, I was a very big fan of Manu. A very big fan of Manu, and I think up now I don't mind them. I could not miss any match, but time reached and I could not sustain that anymore. I was a very, on Fridays, evenings, I would pass by a supermarket, buy myself some you know, some few drinks there, and then I, I make sure that I can have crunchy precepts and what of you, and you can shop movies. I even had a hard disk of movies. Prison break was my best. But do you know now when I watch a movie, I sleep? <laughs> oh, I, I watch a movie like for three times. I pause, I, I can watch a movie like, um, for a whole week, just to complete it the whole week. Because I'll watch 30 minutes, watch another 30 minutes, then another day, watch another 30 minutes. I'll get it. So I had to really adjust some things. They are, they, like, what mattered to me was to become very successful in this. I get what I'm saying. So you must make some changes, you must make some adjustments. And I want you to question yourself what adjustments have I been able to make to fit into the business? All together. I think it was somewhere in the Bible. I'm not very good with the Bible, but uh, I know some things out together. And it was somewhere in the Bible. I think there was this particular verse. Um, and the Bible has good readings, just like the Quran, isn't it? But um, the Bible, it has somewhere where, maybe even the Quran is there, where I think uh, Paul was advising someone that if uh, your hand is making you not go to heaven, cut it off, you're better off going to heaven with one what? Hi, all together. If uh, your leg is making you uh, sin, then you are better off cutting it off and you go to heaven with one what? With one, with, with one leg, something of the sort. Uh, where is it? Which verse is it? In which Genesis. book is it? Genesis. Genesis. No. Is it Genesis? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the Genesis. At least I'm better than that. I think it's in one of the Gospels, right? You can just lie and say it's in Luke, but not Genesis, right? <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway, what the, uh, Paul, St. Paul, I think, uh, was meaning there is that the, he didn't really try, didn't mean cut off your hand. He was just saying that there are some things we're used to that we must be able to get off 
uh, put off as a load. Put it off. And then, so that you, you become lighter. In, um, I used to call it decongesting your life. Can you say decongesting your life? Decongesting your life. Can you say decongesting your life? Decongesting your life. That you choose to particularly remove some of those things. They, would be, they could be important. They could be even extra work. It could be not there. Many of these things are not bad. But surely there must be a conscious effort to create that time for the business. Altogether, some sacrifices. There is in economics we call it opportunity cost. That everything, you see, me becoming successful here, becoming top one, man, it has come out of sacrifices. Altogether, there are things I forwent. There are parties I didn't attend. Altogether, there, there, there are pleasures I had to miss. There, there are things that I was attached to. There was a Muhozi here who was average. Now, I, for me to become Muhozi, who is the uh, very successful. Then I had to change some things out together. Many of us who are, uh, are readers of some of these books, you know that they say that uh, it's not, don't pursue, I was reading somewhere and you were saying that, don't pursue success, but rather attract success. Can we say that together? Don't pursue success, but rather attract what? success. So success is something that is attracted. How do you attract it? By becoming the hardworking person, the one who is consistent, the one who is what, the one who is committed, the one who is serious. Then somehow, success is going to be chasing you. Are you together? Because it's not something that you can chase. It's your habits. The, the things that you do every day, they don't have to be good habits. They, they just have to be uh, things that attract success. Are you together? And it's also good to have good habits, of course. Now, uh, make adjustments in your dreams. Dreams have, um, your dreams has, have to be bigger than your heart. Your fear out together. Then we also go to continue and say, change your daily routine to fit your business. We are saying that you never change your life until you change something that you do on a daily basis. Now I want to double my results. Now I want to make much more money out together. And those of us who are probably been following me, also can tell you the story. I've been very hardworking, but I've tripled my hard work probably out together. Many times I'm the first one to come here and also the last one to leave. And even when I show my work very hard, weekends I work, I never used to work on Saturdays. I used to say family time, family time, family time, which is important. I created time uh, by maybe probably creating special time with my family out together. But at the end of the day, I realized that I must change something to be more attractive to bigger success. But what took me where I am is not what take me what? Fun. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's very, very important. So for me to down my income, uh, my income is not increased because I'm top one. Money says, oh, this guy is top one. I think let us increase. No, 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 no. It increases because of the things I do daily. Altogether, what made me top one Africa will not make me top one worldwide. Or maybe top one in the entire industry. So there must be some changes that, are, uh, that, are, that, uh, that you're making. Now, the secret to your success is found in your daily routine, what you do every day, what you do every day. So this is who he is because of what he does every day. I want to imagine that um, 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 uh, some of these Peter Ture is who he is because of what he does every day, daily habits. There's a script we discussed a few days ago, and it was talking about daily habits of successful people. And they had the same things in common, out together. It was, I think, script 100, 240 something, no, 140 something. Now, number three is work hard. Now, work hard is about increasing your averages. There's the law of averages. The law of averages is always at work, out together. And we're saying that. Number one, increase your attempts. People you prospect through Facebook. People you say, hi, how are you? My name is Elias Moza. I want to show you business of the Hi, how are you? Have you heard about to Embroma? Hi, how are you? Have you heard about um, 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 a brand called Kid 24-7? They're attempts. They're just attempts. No one throws in, I'm imagining then, a fisherman who is successful. He, he, he does not, he, 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 he does not have any special skill to attract the fish. He doesn't sing for it, doesn't dance for it. He just throws in the hook altogether. He's also guessing. No one can tell you that he's also guessing. He's really guessing. He just throws in the hook. Throws in the, but the more times he throws in the hook, the more fish and fish she will catch altogether. You cannot just be throwing a hook once and you expect to catch well, you could be lucky, but someone who has thrown the hook 10 times and one who has thrown the hook in 100 times, they cannot have the same amount of success in terms of catching fish. The one who has thrown the hook many times 
most likely will be able to have more fish. Out there. You cannot, the one who wakes up so early, the one who is reading more books, the one who is making more prospecting calls, the one who is more inviting, however unskilled they are, out together, somehow they'll have more people joining them. Now it could be like you sign up and take fish congratulations, out together. But at the end of the day, this one who has more work put in will always be more successful. Out together. This one was spent his day bonter. So I want you to know that you must be able to increase your attempts in terms of inviting, prospecting. Don't even ask me how do I close. Don't ask me how do I present. Don't even ask me how do I invite. Just increase your numbers. That's how I did. I was not good. But oh my goodness, I think I talked the whole world about Alan's motion problem. Become like David. David has this attitude that if anyone wants to know about Alan's, let it be from me. If anyone wants to know about supplements, let it be from me. If anyone wants to know about network marketing, let it be from me. Like, let me be the one who has told the most people. They see you there, oh, that Alan's boy is passing. Oh, that girl of Alan's is passing. Oh, Miss Alliance. Hi, how are you? Please don't tell me about Alliance. They have done a very good job. How <laughs> together. So, according to David, you be the one. Hi, how have you heard about Alas? There's a boy called David told me about it. Hi, how have you heard about the product called the KD247? Oh, there's a guy called David who to ask me about it. Hi, how are you? Do you know a product? You have you heard of network marketing? Well, I have a friend of mine called David who is network marketing. There, you have done a very good job. Don't look for people to join. Look for people to know that you're in an alliance. Look for people to know our marketing plan. Look for people to know about our products. That is all. The more people that know your product, the more people that... I normally give an example. Coca-Cola and Splash, which one's a better drink? Put up your hand. Splash. 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 Splash, right? Splash is a better drink. But naturally, when you go to the supermarket, which one is bought more? Maybe Coca-Cola is bought more. Out together. When you naturally, I don't know, consciously go to a restaurant and you ask for food and what of you, do what you ask for. You ask for Coca-Cola. Why? Because... Now, literally, they are almost the same price out together. Maybe one is 1,200, another is 1,000 out together. But really, because everywhere you look know Coca Cola, you look inside Coca Cola. Imagine if I stand at the Bible Poly, I'll select three billboards of Coca Cola out together. It's advertised more, people know it more. So, me who advertises my business more, I will always probably make sure that I do what? I will always have more people. Who are joining my team all together now increase your time invested increase your time invested one of the reasons why i wake up early and also live very late i'm increasing my time invested in the business now those of us who are part-time it's okay do your job but also increase the amount of time how much effort you put in i've told you that now even on saturdays i work all together why i'm trying to increase my time i invest in the business So you increase the time, how early you come, how many phone calls you make, how long is your prospecting phase, increase the time. But you can also increase the time by working hard over a longer period of what? Of time. I've told you that many people work hard and they stop working. They stop at the middle class. Now that's the worst enemy you can ever do to yourself. So the moment you stop at the middle class, congratulations, you're going to stop there. Someone who has not worked beyond the middle class will always, of course, definitely uh, 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 be able to be more successful. Increase your practices. How many presentations you do? How many one-on-ones you do? How many phone calls you do? How many times you come in front as an MC? How many of us want to become very good public speakers? Fight for this microphone. Out together. Don't wait to become good. Just fight for the microphone. Oh my goodness. Network market is the one of the best ways to train yourself. Out together. Now, uh, the other one, increase your trainings. And by the way, our SDs. S is, please put up your hands and we'll for you. S is, S is, S is, S is. Silver executives, put up your hand. Let us give them one drop. One. This microphone works better when it is here, not when it is here, right? So many of us, but when you are speaking, right now I'm hearing myself, oh my goodness, I am shouting. But I'm sure those guys are not hearing me. Now this is how we be sometimes. But because you are hearing yourself, you are thinking you are kidding it. Who may you kidding us? <laughs> so you must make sure the microphone is on your mouth. Out together. Here you are kidding it even better. Are we together? Yes. Of course, the GEs and the and the, the global ambassadors. There is a there is a quote in Uganda. What does it say? <laughs> 
onto one account. So add your structure added. Then uh, as I come towards the end, um, uh, Oscar switch off your Facebook.